ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. It is a castle in the clouds. Oh, hello, hello, welcome. Good morrow to you children. Welcome back to the castle of the king. I just love walking around these gardens and seeing all the beautiful plants, how they grow and change. Oh, and speaking of growing and changing, our little squire Gus has been growing and changing as a knight. Why, last week he guarded the castle gates and protected the kingdom from Robespierre. Oh. Oh, 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 hello, royal dragon. Oh, sorry, doggy. I meant doggy. How are you, Rufus? <laughs> oh, what's that? You've got a message for me. Well, speak on. <laughs> sounds like, yes, yeah, sounds like what? He loves to play this game. <laughs> sounds like, <laughs> sounds like a, a bag of coins. <laughs> sounds like money. <laughs> sounds like quarters. <laughs> Nickels. <laughs> Change? <laughs> oh, change, of course. Thank you, Rufus. Thank you for reminding me. God's kingdom is all about change. <laughs> well, God bless you too, Rufus. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, children, the longer I live, the more I realize that God's kingdom is all about change. Up, yes, two, think three, three, four. Oh. Up, two, three, four. And turn, two, three, four. Ah! Hail Theophilus! Hail Squire Goss! Oh, I've heard good things about you! I see you're guarding the castle gates once again. <laughs> I suppose Sir, Sir Praise a Lot can trust you now that you've saved the kingdom from Robespierre. Yes, thank you, kind Theophilus. I live to serve the king. Yes. <laughs> but uh, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, Theophilus, yes? but did I ever hear you saying that God's kingdom is about change. Yes. But I thought, I thought it was about being the best. Well, it is true that God wants us to do our best, but he also wants us to change and become more like he is. So God wants me to change? Oh, yes. Everything in the kingdom of God changes. Even Jesus changed. He was transfigured. Ooh. Now, now, what does that mean? Oh, well, it means transfigured, means to change or to be transformed. Well, it's, it's actually a little complicated. Let me get out the manual and I'll share it with you right now. Yes. What a sweet sound. Now, in this report, Jesus went up a mountain with his friends Peter and James and John, when suddenly his face and clothes began to change. Well, they, they changed into what? Well, his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as light. And just then, Moses and Elijah appeared talking with Jesus. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. But they came hundreds of years before then. That must have freaked Peter out. Mm, look what happened next. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud enveloped him. And then a voice from the cloud said, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. That's the same thing that God said when Jesus was baptized. Yes, yes, you have a good memory, Squire Gus, yes. But this time God said more than just, this is my son whom I love. Mm. What else did God say? He said, uh, listen to him. Oh, I see, so God wants us to obey Jesus. But Theophilus, why did God make all that happen? Well... Perhaps it was God's way of showing his followers that Jesus is both God and man. Wow. That's really hard to understand. 
Well, it is, but God loved us so much that he chose to show us that he was the God who came to earth as a man. <laughs> well, if I was there, well, I would have fallen face down before my Lord. Do you know that that is the very same thing the disciples did? But Jesus touched them and said, do not be afraid, get up. <laughs> and then what happened next? Well, when they got up, they saw only Jesus. Wow, that is amazing. They were in the presence of the all-powerful God. Amen. But he loved them so much that he just comforted them. Well, you know, that is how much King Jesus loves all of us. And it is his love that makes us want to change. And I'm ready to change. I want to be transformed. What must I do? Well, what did God say? He said, um, listen. Yes, exactly. And how can we listen to Jesus? Ooh, um, ooh I know one way. Uh, we can read and learn from the things that we study in the Word of God. Oh, oh Gus, I think you are growing more like Jesus every day. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm becoming more like Jesus. And you know what? I believe you are too. Indeed, we all are. Come back next time, kids, to learn more about who, how you can become more like the king. Until then, say it with us. Oh. Serving the, the king, king is, is the, the noblest thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Jesus loves you, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. <laughs>